And now let's get over to meteorologist Evan Stewart, breaking down some of the impacts that Milton had on Florida. Evan. Of course, Milton is no longer a tropical system. It has pushed off the coastline, but it did bring some strong winds, heavy rains, and numerous reports of tornadoes. Here are some of the peak wind gusts that we saw with Milton. Bradenton had a wind gust of over 102 miles per hour, 101 in St. Petersburg, and even Tampa, 97, Sarasota, 83, and Clearwater, 71. And look at some of these rainfall totals as well. Almost 20 inches of rain, 18 and a half inches of rain at St. Petersburg, while just across Tampa Bay, Tampa only picking up 11 and a half. I say only. That is still a couple months worth of rain for Tampa. Clear water over 12 and a half and over 10 inches in Lakeland. Bradenton picking up seven and a half inches of rain. And even before Milton made landfall, we saw numerous tornado warnings, especially on the eastern side of the state. 126 tornado warnings were issued. That's the most ever for the state of Florida in one day and the second most in the United States in one day. The record is 134 and so far there have been over 30 confirmed tornadoes.